protect yourself at all times. Any question from the challenger, Chief Second. Right. Any question from the champion, Chief Second. Let's get it on! The waiting is over. The talking is done. The rematch is here. Evander Holyfield, confident, relaxed, cool. He says he doesn't look for the Tyson he fought November 9th. He thinks Tyson will be more aggressive, which he feels plays into his hands. Mike Tyson predicting a sensational victory. The sense of anticipation as before the first fight is almost palpable. Here we go, fight two, round one. A straight right by Mike Tyson. Shrugged off by Evander Holyfield. Mike came in with the same thing, a one-two, looking to go over the jab. And a lot of movement by Tyson, which we did not see in the first fight. Al Giacchetti said he's going to be bobbing, weaving, he's going to be jabbing. Well, he certainly started out jabbing and then throwing it right afterwards. So let's see if we see improvement in the offense of Mike Tyson. I think you can sense the amount of respect here, too, by both fighters. And some wrestling tactics as they come together. Look at the look on Tyson's face as he goes eye to eye with Holyfield. Bill's lane. A wild swing and a miss with an overhand right by Tyson. It's interesting to see who's going to push who back. Chikati said, I'm going to let this guy get pushed back. Right now. off the side of Holyfield's head, an overhand right by Tyson. You know what Mike's doing? Mike's looking to duck and keep his leverage low and come up banging. I notice he's, he doesn't want to go backwards. And Evander right now is he's picking his spots, but he's looking for something. Mills Lane jumping in there, trying not to uh, have Holyfield clutch and grab. But Holy, Holyfield's coming in low. That last time he was standing straight up. Now when he rushes in, he's rushing in low, so you can't just grab him. See that little waltz? Now who went backwards? Evander Holyfield went backwards. In the first fight, it was Tyson going backwards, and he can't fight that way. Left punch by Evander Holyfield. Holyfield measuring Tyson out now with the left jab. Looking to set up the right. There it is. Right on the top of Evander Holyfield's trying to play that strategy too, Steve. He's trying to push Mike back, starting it right now, setting the tone. Under a minute remaining in the opening round. Right there, when Mike goes to come in, Evander ties him up, Mike cannot allow it. He's got to have some punches being on the way. They have to be en route before he gets that close. Oh, combination of the head. Evander Holyfield, back comes Tyson with a left hook to the head of Holyfield. He hurt Mike really good with that right hand. I'll tell you what, though. Mike hit him back with a left hook. This is going to be a war. What a first round. He was in trouble there. He shook. Tyson, he shook him. Straight left by Holyfield. The chance at Holyfield start early. They started in the sixth round of the first. the jab. Stay with the jab. See, when you're stiff jabbing, good. I want you now jab for the throat. Jabbing for the throat. You're moving good. Keep off the center. Keep moving and punch. You got to punch. Don't wait on him. Take a look at how more. Tyson got in trouble. Wang! They went that punch. That wasn't the one that got him uh, in trouble. That wasn't the clear, clear punch that got him in trouble. There's a punch to the side that's not much. And uh, again, the struggle. Um, Let's look at it again. Bobby. You'll see a right hand a little later in the round. Here's the right hand. That's the one that got him in trouble. Right in and he got Mike on the heels. Got him on his heels. Mike's not going forward. Bad intentions on the punches from both fighters in round one from the very first second. Evander Holyfield makes his point in the first round. Yeah, and, and he looks much more confident in the way he punts. He, he almost has the confidence. I'm going to hit this guy when I want to, and then it's going to hurt him. I, I wonder what that did to Tyson's confidence. 
Holyfield picking up where he left off with the crowd behind him. 220 at his best combination. Again, more head movement from Tyson. Something we didn't see in the first fight. He looks over to, to Mills Lane. It's a cut around the right eye of Mike Tyson from a clash of heads, I believe. That's just what happened. And Mike said, what about this buddy? What about this head? That's a butt. Deja vu. Look at the blood streaking down from the, the outer portions of the right eye of Tyson. What a terrible thing. What an anticlimactic way to have this fight unfold. Well, it should spur Tyson to big effort. It's the same eye that was cut while he was sparring that postponed the, the rematch date of May 3rd. But we're not sure if it's the exact same cut that reopened. Well, one thing is different. He has now got pressure on him and he's just started this fight. And again, just like in the first fight, Tyson looks over for help from the referee. I think he was complaining about a low blow there. I didn't see a blow go south of the border, but that's what he's complaining about, I think. And there's Amanda Holyfield mauling and pushing him around to, to the ropes. If an accidental foul occurs before the end of the fourth round, the fighters rule the technical draw. After the end of the fourth, they go to the car. Holyfield digging in with uppercuts to the body. Now going upstairs, looking for the cut. Evander is beating Mike to the punch, and he's making Mike pay. When Mike comes in, he smothers his shots, and he counters well, and Mike doesn't counter the counter. What Mike is doing, though, is, is at least he's crouching down a lot more than he did before, and those punches are going over where they were landing last time. And that uh, cut over the right eye is fairly deep. I just got a pretty good glance at it. Oh, pushing into the ropes by Holyfield. Holyfield showing he's stronger. Again, he's pushing him around like a rag doll. That's not good. Hey, hey, don't take it. Come here. You know better than that. All right? Let's go. Come on. Mills Lane taking charge. Over the top. Mike throwing a nice right hand, but you see he's not following up with the big combination. It's got to be two and three. It can't be one at a time, Steve. That's not the way to get this one done. And Tyson really beginning to look frustrated now. As they continue to dance around. Holding on to one another. That one punch at a time, Bob, you referred to just happened right then again. If he doesn't do better than that, this is going to be the same thing as the last time. Don't forget Tyson with a plastic surgeon in his corner. And he's going to need it. Sit him down. Okay, you're fine, Mike. No problem. Got to do. That's me on him. Spit it out. I need a towel. Give me a towel, guys. Right. Stay with the right, right. Let me take a look. Go underneath, guys. Give me a look. All uh, right. Can I hold pressure on it longer? You see Vander coming in, and the, the head just winds up slamming into Mike's eye, and unfortunately, it's got it's a cut already. Wasn't a big deal, but I'm sure he didn't mean it. But his head was down. Another look at it. Vander just kind of dives. There it is. Right there. Puts his head down and comes straight in and hits Mike right in the corner of his right eye. Bad luck. Dr. Ira Trocki telling Tyson he's fine, but that may be wishful right. thinking. But before the bell for round three, right, Tyson comes out fast but forgot his mouthpiece. He's anxious to get this on. I think he's blown the first two rounds, and uh, he better get started. Round two, very bad for Tyson with that bad cut. Pushed away by Holyfield. Again, showing his strength. A sense of urgency here by Mike Tyson. And that's the old Tyson we know. The that's Tiger. the Mike Tyson that came. That's the Mike Tyson that needed to come. A ferocious Mike Tyson. Bobbing and weaving. If he can keep that up for the whole round, he can even this thing out as far as uh, intentions. He's got to show he's got it. He's got to bring it. He has to reverse what's going on here. Momentum still with the Vander. And the crowd really picking up now. A frantic pace. 
Listen. The crowd is turning. Many yelling Tyson. A swing and a miss with a straight right by Holyfield. Good duck under move by Tyson. Now Tyson's still throwing more right hands than he's normally used to doing over the top. He has seen something in the tapes. It's not effective yet, but he is working on it. Will we see his lethal left hook soon? Mike Tyson. A lot of wrestling early in round three. Nice right hand by Mike. He is trying to get that right hand home. They seemingly are relying on one big shot. There you see Vander put that arm around Mike's left hook arm again. Walking him off. Doesn't want to get hit with that bomb on the inside. Oh, a low blow by Holyfield with the left hook. And Bills Lane gives him an air for. Back comes Tyson on the belt. Tyson with a short left hook to the head of Holyfield. A right hand right. by Mike Tyson to the head of Holyfield. A straight right. The left hook got his attention. Then he came back with a nice one-two, a left hook and a right hand. And Holyfield looked like he was stunned. But what a chin by Holyfield. Good Tyson. stiff jab. That's the jab Mike didn't have in the first fight. What happened here? He got bit, I think. Evander Holyfield, look out! He's pushed right here, above us, by Tyson. He's got bit in the ear. Oh, my goodness, he's got a bloody right ear. Holyfield bit by a dirty Mike Tyson. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, first he had a parachute drop on him, now he had a heavyweight bite him. Bite. I wonder if we can get that on tape. Biting Holyfield in the right ear. What a reaction. Well, and he certainly, that hurts like hell, but he certainly had a big bite. And that's a dangerous bite. Oh, disgusting tactics here by Mike Tyson. We understand one point has been deducted from Tyson for that vicious exhibition. Now they could disqualify him, but that's taking a point, that's for sure. Oh, here comes the commissioner now. They gotta figure it out. Well, this is the doctor and the commissioner both they can look at. He, he bit his ear. He's out. Disqualified. He bit his ear. I can see the bite mark. Okay. He bit his ear, he's out. You're telling Mark Ratner, head of the commission. Well, let me ask the doc. He bit his ear. Can you can he go on? Yes. Okay. It's going to be a two-point deduction. The fight will go on. Two-point. Two, Mills Lane two, was ready to stop the fight for Holyfield. The fight will go on. Overruled by Flip Pomansky, the doctor. Who said Mills Lane is a take-charge kind of guy. He's a judge. He bit him He'll take no punch. nonsense. He broke shit. It's going to cost him two points. Two points. Two points off here. He bit his ear. Two points off. Two. Can you believe this? Two uh, points. This is getting stranger and stranger. We're getting to see strange things up. happen in boxing. We go back to the change of referees. I wonder how this would have played in right. Mitch Halpern's eyes. Oh my goodness. That's a, that's a thought, Bobby. You got a big, tough judge here. Major controversy here in round three. A very angry Evander Holyfield now. A, a left hook. You know, it's oh, funny. Tyson. Mike was having his best round. He bit round. him again. He, he bit him again. again. Mike Tyson has bitten Evander Holyfield for the second time. And he's it all out for. I saw that one. That was right clear. It's a miracle he didn't get bit back. I'll tell you what, this is unbelievable. Take two looks at that one, at that bite. Now here's the bite. Keep, keep your eye on Mike. See, Mike has just see. Look at him. You can see it. You can see it. There it is. I can't believe what I'm seeing, fellas. Bobby, Bobby. They're going in real slow motion. Mike gets in a headlock, 
And look at this. He just reaches in and bites him. It's it's over. It's over. During that replay. Mills Lane signaling that it's over. I think they've just about had enough. Tyson showing desperation and fighting Holyfield two times. Look out now. More fighting in the ring after the end of the fight. Tyson's trying to get at Holyfield again, I believe. It is complete bedlam, and Tyson is just taking swipes at anybody in front of him. The police are coming in by the squad here, and they're still fighting in there. It's a fiasco in the ring. People are jumping above us. Trying to get in there. There's the security trying to hold Tyson back. This is the most unbelievable spectacle I have ever seen. The first one was an amazing feat. The second one is disastrous. It's just impossible to conceive. Tyson's bodyguard fighting with the security. The crowd in stunned disbelief here. I, I'm beginning more and more to believe Tyson is a confused individual. Let's take a look at the second bite. Now he just already he already bit the man once. It's impossible to believe this happened again, but it did. Just keep your your eyes on Mike's mouth as much as you can, because you will see it. Now you see he's got his hand. He's got this right there. He's got his mouth on it. See it? See it? It's a shark bite right there. That is incredible. It, it's look, look at look at the reaction again from Holyfield. He can't believe it. He got the second one on the other side. You know what? If I were a vendor, I would have kicked him. I'm. Just, I don't know what what held him back. Let's look, look at it again. Bobby. Watch Mike it, it come inside. This is the second bite of the round. Right on Evander's ear. Uh, it's like Dracula time. I've de never seen anything like this in boxing. I can't understand it. I'm sure there will be suspensions and bans galore. What a wild scene here at the MGM Grand. Just a shame that it ha has to come to a conclusion in this fashion. Mike Tyson resorting to biting tactics. And he still wants more as he's being held back by Richie Giacchetti. Just an awful display here by Tyson. Mike Tyson has apparently lost his reason, his rationale. He seems possessed right now. He cannot be brought under control. It is just bedlam above us. People stepping on our table trying to break into the clear. You can see, of course, what's going on in the ring. Mike is still being restrained. Has Holyfield been ushered out of the ring? I can't even see him. Holyfield just came past us, Steve. He is out of the ring. He is clear. Let's go over to Jim Gray. Steve, thank you very much. I have Mills Lane. Mills, why did you stop the fight? Because of the first bite on the ear or the second? The second one. The first one was the foul. That took two points. The doctor said he could continue. So I let it continue. And he beat him on the other ear. I told him, I said, one more time like that, that's it. You're gone. I told him both. Knocked the rough stuff up. And he bit him again. I said, that's it. You're gone. As Holyfield okay. leaves the ring, the condition of the ear, could he have continued? And did you disqualify him because of the foul or because he couldn't continue? Oh, no. I disqualified Tyson for the second foul. I told him, do not do that again. If you do, you're gone. So he could have continued. The physical condition of Evander Holyfield was such of you that he could have continued had he not disqualified Tyson. Well, I didn't ask the doctor. I, didn't, I, never, I never reached that point. I wasn't going to ask the doctor. That wasn't a question. That kind of foul would be... You gotta take a, 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 a you gotta take a position sometime somewhere. That was it. Pandemonium breaking out here as Mike Tyson is leaving the ring, and we'll continue with Mills Lang. As you see, people getting knocked over. Our camera goes down. Mills, let me continue here. Mike Tyson's people and Tyson are gonna say, I'm sure you didn't call a foul on the headbutt, which caused the eye, and this could have been a retaliation by Tyson. I I called it a butt. And but you didn't take a point. An unintentional butt, you don't take a point, an unintentional butt, unless it's occurred the second time. An unintentional butt, it, that if, if you go to the, if, if you fight stop, you go to the scorecards after four rounds. There's a difference between an unintentional butt and a bite. Do you feel as though that's what Tyson was doing, however, that I, he was I, retaliating? I, I do not know. You'll have to ask him. I don't speculate. I do not know the answer to that. 
obviously disappointment. Mills got to be disappointing for you for have, to have it come to a conclusion like this as well. Hey, you know, you do you play the hand you dealt and do the best you can with the cards. That's all I can tell you. All right, Mills Lane, thank you for your time. Let's send it back now to Steve Albert. We're trying to uh, get an interview with Evander Holyfield. Love to to hear his reaction. Why should Holyfield even ever have to fight Tyson again after this terrible display by by Mike Tyson?